I have to say that working in media and entertainment has its perks. Um, I tend to wa watch, binge watch actually, shows on Netflix and Prime Video and pass it off as research. <laughs> Sorry, Gopi. <laughs> um, but um, for me, it really started with looking at the uh, evolution that we've seen AI as a technology take. Um, in fact, it started with a very familiar, um, familiar sort of um, evolution if you compare it with other technology transformations from the past. Human beings create a technology, then they start to become consumers of that technology as it starts to gain widespread acceptance. But for some technology disruptors, including AI, um, they have now gone on to become augmenters of human activities, creating outcomes that are faster, cheaper, better. But I believe that we are at a stage in this evolution where AI is starting to break from the past and really become more of co-creators and collaborators for many human endeavors, including our daily activities. And a lot of the recent advances in generative AI has enabled this transformation. And this is particularly relevant for the media and entertainment sector. And I'm going to start off with content, which is really at the, at the heart of this, this world. Um, but AI for content creation is a bit of a controversial topic of late. Um, and we hear this constant refrain of how AI will take away jobs um, and make it difficult for everyone. And there's understandably a lot of fear around that. But I think there's less attention um, that's being paid to applications and use cases where AI can enable outcomes that would have previously been not possible due to constraints of time, cost, uh, and sometimes even human capabilities. Um, here is an example of um, an AI model that is able to transform content um, to make it suitable for global audiences. Now, one of the big challenges with dubbing in video is that there's a constant mismatch between the video and audio. These models learn from training data to produce new data with similar characteristics. L'IA générative, également appelée Genet, peut créer du texte, des images et d'autres médias grâce à des modèles génératifs. Ces modèles apprennent à partir de données d'entraînement pour produire de nouvelles données similaires. Generative künstliche Intelligenz, auch als genau bekannt, kann Text, Bilder und andere Medien mit Hilfe generativer Modelle erstellen. Diese Modelle lernen aus Trainingsdaten, um neue Daten mit ähnlichen Eigenschaften zu generieren. Generative AI, जिसे Gen AI के नाम से भी जाना जाता है, generative model का उपयोग करके Text, चित्र और अन्य media बना सकता है. ये मॉडल समान विशेषताओं वाले नए डेटा का उत्पादन करने के लिए प्रशिक्षण डेटा से सीखते हैं। Now there's a couple of different AI models that have been stacked together to generate these outputs. Um, the first model transcribes the original audio to text. Another model translates it from one language to another. And then there's another model that generates audio out of that translated text. And finally, there is a video transformation model which changes the uh, original video to match the new audio. The space of content distribution has already seen tremendous changes in the last decade or so, particularly with the rise of digital distribution channels and video streaming. But what this has meant is that there's a tremendous strain on the existing infrastructure, particularly on network and bandwidth. Here is an AI model that is able to transform low resolution, low bitrate content, which you see on the left, to higher resolution, high quality video. What this allows streaming uh, service providers to do is they can stream lower resolution and lower file size of videos, thereby reducing bandwidth requirements, while the AI model is able to deliver high quality content to viewers. And lastly, which is, I think, the most important part of the, of the media and entertainment space, which is content monetization. Content monetization really starts with generating deep insights about content. Here is an AI model that automatically identifies many different components of a video. People, actions, sentiments, objects, and context. And is able to automatically generate a text description. Now, this ability to generate rich metadata about both video and audio is then able to enhance existing monetization models, 
whether that's for intelligently inserting ads, ads that are contextual, based on content, and user-personalized, and create deep and rich content discovery options, the ability to interact with content, as well as create highly personalized recommendation models. So that begs the question, what is the future of entertainment? What will that look like? I think we can all safely agree that the days when families used to gather around the living room and watch scheduled programming on TV are a thing of the past. Today, content is on demand, and it is on personal devices, and it is highly individualized. And a lot of these changes have actually been brought about by AI models, whether that's for content discovery or recommendation models, or for the type of generative AI that we saw earlier that is able to transform content to make it suitable for many uh, diverse audiences. That brings us to the next point. Today, content is necessarily global. Um, and it's not just about globalizing content. There is a need to culturalize content, which means to take into account cultural nuances of different types of audiences in different parts of the world. And AI plays a critical role here as well, whether that's for tasks like transcribing, translation, and dubbing, which we saw earlier, or for transforming content in, content in very different ways, including for content moderation. And lastly, content today is not, content consumption is not passive. It's, there is an increasing demand for interactive and immersive entertainment. AI with the conjunction of different technologies such as AR and VR are able to create rich, incredibly realistic and immersive worlds, whether that's for gaming or CGI or for uh, animation content. Um, so, in essence, this rapid transformation that we're seeing in the media and entertainment space is happening as we speak, and AI is at the heart and center of it. And I, for one, am excited and optimistic about the role that AI will play in continuing to reshape the space. Thank you. <laughs>